Hi, welcome for our RTL online trainings. Uh, in this session, we are going for another uh, SQL quiz here. This is our first quiz related for SQL. Nowadays, SQL is required for all uh, consultants, even if you are a functional consultant or a technical consultant, especially in the cloud technologies, in Oracle Cloud Fusion, it is mandatory to become as techno-functional consultant. So this is our first quiz related for SQL interview questions. Let's start the quiz. So the, we'll start with the very basic level and going forward, we'll go ahead with the complex and means expert level, we'll go ahead. So the first question is, we know that in SQL, the basic DDL commands, DML and TCL commands we have, right? So whenever we are working, with uh, these commands below which command is not ddl command ddl stands for data definition language okay so we have some ddl commands okay out of that uh, some of the names as mentioned which one is not the ddl command is it a select statement or create or drop or alter so which one is not the ddl so in this particular question, so select is not a DDL command. Click on this. Select okay. is not a DDL command. Next, which operator is not set operator? So we know that in SQL, we have set operators, which are very important whenever we wanted to combine multiple queries and get the result out of that will be using the set operators. Which operator is not the set operator? We have a couple of set operators. So which one is not the set operator here? Union all plus minus union. Which operator is not the set operator? Okay. So union all we have. Minus also we have. Union also is there. We don't have any plus. Instead of plus, we have intersection. Instead of plus, we have intersection. So plus is not the set operator. Next. Third question. Which object is database object? When we are working with uh, applications, we'll find two types of objects. One is file object. Another one is database object. Whenever we are developing, some of the objects will be saved in the file server, means in Linux servers. Some of the objects will be saved in the database servers, nothing but in the database backend. In the below, we got four object names. Which object is database object? Is it report or is it form or is it view? Or is it page? Which one is database object? If we develop the report, what happened? It will be saved in a file format, .rdf extension. If it is XML template report, .rtf templates we will find. Right. If it is form, it will be saved .fmb. If it is way of pages dot JSP, we will find right. If it is page, that also it will be saved in a file server. It's a file object, but when it comes for view, view is a database object. View is a database object. It will be stored in the database. Whenever you create a table or view or uh, sequence. These all are database objects, procedure, functions, packages. Whenever you create those objects successfully, it will not be stored in your local machine. It will not be stored in the file server. It will be stored in the database schemas. Okay, It's a database object. Can we define having clause in the where clause? So whenever we are writing select statements, to filter the data from database tables, we used to have the conditions. We are going to write the conditions, right? 
So those conditions will put it as where class. We'll write a where class and we'll write the conditions over there. Right. So inside of the where class, generally we'll put the condition. But I would like to have the having. I would like to have the having option over here. I would like to have a having option here. Having also is one of the condition, but it can be applied on group of records. It will be applied on group of records, not on the single record, record by record. So it will be applied on the group of records. Okay. So what we have to do is now, the question is here, can we define having clause in the where clause? No, we cannot define having clause in the where clause. If at all we want to use the having clause, first we have to use the group by clause. We have to use the group by class. Within the group by class only, we can go for define this particular having class. Say no. Next question, the last one. If we drop the table, corresponding view also drop. Is it correct or not? We know that the views will be defined. The views will be defined here. So the views are defined based on the table, right? The views are defined based on the table. So now the requirement is, I have created a table. After that, I have created a, a view. Then I have removed the table. So obviously your view is depending on the table, right? Your view is depending on the table. So is that, as the moment when you delete the table, the view also is dropped, is that? So now the requirement is, is it no? Table will, the moment when you drop the table, view also is dropped, no, it will not be dropped. Yes, it will be dropped. But a view will be dropped, dummy view will be created again. View exists, but invalid status. So which statement is correct here? Which statement is correct here? Out of this, which statement is correct? Here? Okay. So the correct statement here is the fourth one. View will be exist. It will not be deleted. It will be exist. But, but it will be invalid status. Your view will be invalid status because the table is dropped, right? How to find oh, this view status? Where exactly we can find? There is a table, all underscore objects, where object name equal to name of the object if we provide, then that will show us the status of your database object, any database object, not only view. So the fourth one is the right answer. View will be exist, but invalid status. Okay. So these are the important questions. I made it as a quiz. Subscribe for our RTL online trainings to get latest information about the cloud as well as Oracle technologies. Regarding the training and placement, contact our coordinator to get into the IT industry. One of the best technology for Oracle cloud. Thank you.